this problem was taken from a PSLE exam. PSLE stands for Primary School Leaving Exam and this exam is taken by seventh grade Singapore students and it's a fairly challenging problem. I'm going to solve it the way Singapore students at seventh grade are expected to solve this problem. However, I would encourage you to read the question very carefully and then pause the video and try to solve the problem on your own. So this video has two parts. First I'm going to do it visually the way Singapore students are expected to do and then I'm going to do it algebraically the way US students are expected to do. A problem like this is seen in US. You will see problems like this in middle school and high school texts. So let's go ahead, read the question and try the problem on our own. At first, the ratio of Sam's savings to Ray's savings was 5 to 4. After each of them donated $40 to charity, the ratio of Sam's savings to Ray's savings became 13 to 10. What was Sam's savings at first? So go ahead, pause the video and try the problem on your own. So, since the original ratio of Sam's saving to Ray's saving was 5 to 4, I took 5 parts to represent Sam's amount and I took four parts to represent Ray's amount and each part, each of each of the four parts of Ray, excuse me, is same as each of the five parts of Sam. They're the same size. And that's what ratio means. Five to four means five parts belong to Sam and four parts belong to Ray and all parts are the same size. Now, they each donated $40 to charities. I don't know how much of the parts are gone, but I do know one thing. Whatever section Sam gives away, Ray gives away the same section. And afterwards, the ratio of Sam saving to Ray saving is 13 to 10. That tells me after certain parts are given away, let's say, I don't know, I'm just saying, let's say this much was gone. Then the difference between this and this has to be 3 because 13 minus 10 is 3. That tells me that I am going to cut, that tells me that I'm going to cut each part into 3 equal parts so that the difference between Ray's amount and Sam's amount is 3. And that's what I did. I cut each portion of each person into three equal parts. Why three? Because three is the difference between the two. It's the, it's the difference in the ratio of the two amounts. 13 minus 10 is three. That's why I cut each section into three. Now, now take a look at the ratio. I want Sam to have 13 parts and I want Ray to have 10 parts. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I did here, take a look at it carefully. This is a fairly challenging step. So I took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Sam has 13 equal parts and Ray has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if each of them gives away two parts, these two parts, they will have, Ray will have 10 parts left and Sam will have 13 parts left. So they must have given away two parts. These two parts were given by Sam and these two parts were given by Ray. So this, these two parts must represent $40 because they each gave away $40. So now, what was Sam saving at first? Well, that's not too bad. If these two parts together represent $40, each part must represent $20. Okay? Now, originally, Sam had 15 parts, 13 with blue dots plus 2 with 
red dots. So originally Sam had 15 parts. Each part is worth $20. So my answer has to be 15 times 20 is equal to 300 dollars. That's my answer. So that's the visual explanation to, to this problem. We're going to go ahead and look at the algebraic one. And then I'll let you compare which one is, uh, which one do you prefer? So here's the problem, and we're going to solve this problem algebraically. You can see the question on top. So since the original ratio of Sam's saving to Ray's saving was 5 to 4, I'm going to assume Sam had 5x dollars and Ray had 4x dollars. Now I can do that because because that's how ratios are defined. We know that 5x to 4x is same as 5 to 4. If I know what x is, I can find exactly what Sam's amount, original amount was, and if I know x, if I know the value of x, I can also find the original amount that belonged to Ray. So that follows from the ratio right here. Now based on that, we know one more thing, that they each donated $40. So if Sam donated $40, Sam was left with 5x minus 40, and when, or after Ray donated $40, Ray was left with 4x minus 40. Now the ratio of the new, two new amounts, the top one being Sam's amount, this is Sam's amount, and this is Ray's amount. So the ratio of Sam's new amount to Ray's new amount is 13 to 10. That's another way we can write ratio 13 to 10 or 13 over 10. So these two expression, the expression on the left hand side must equal the number on the right hand side. If that's the case, we can now simply solve this equation 5x minus 40 divided by 4x minus 40 is equal to 13 over 10 for x. And once we know x, we can find Sam's original amount. So let's go ahead and solve this equation, this equation. That's what we're going to do. So what I did here is I multiplied 10 by 5x minus 40, wrote it here, multiplied 4x minus 40 by 13, wrote it here, distributed 10 over 5x minus 40, I got 50x minus 400 distributed 13 over 4x minus 40, I got 52x minus 520. And then I subtracted 50x from both sides and added 520 to both sides and I got 120 is equal to 2x and that means x is equal to 60. So I found the value of x. If x is 60, Originally, Sam had 5x dollars, so Sam must have had 5 times 60, or $300. That's my answer. Sam originally had $300. So here's the algebraic one, which is how it's taught in the US, and the, in the first portion of the video, you've seen the Singapore method, the visual method. I'll let you decide which one works better for you.